Hello everyone, this is Reversal and today I'm bringing you news from Knights and Dragons. As you guys probably already know, it is 2014 that I started, so Happy New Year to everyone. And because it is the new year, it means that we will have new events and I'm gonna go through them brief briefly and give you guys my thoughts. So first of all, let's start off by going to the arena because the tournament has ended and the winners will be announced. And congratulations to Samantha coming in first place. You spend a lot of gems on a play, uh, on a moon tide, which is the worst epic that can be. So um, I actually got to the um, G ribbon, which is pretty nice. I was in the opportunity to uh, to get to the next ribbon, but unfortunately I didn't want to spend gems for that. But we're going to try again in this New Year's Rumble that we're going to have right now. I have 5 energy left, so let's do our very first battle already. And uh, everybody is unranked still. And to be honest, I really don't know how people actually get to having 20 or 10 points. It's probably like losing one battle, but I feel it's pretty bad if you actually manage to lose one battle in your very first round. But that's okay. Here we're doing pretty well, we're about to kick this guy's ass and that's the first win we'll have. We'll get 125 points and we get the first reward which is two keys which you're not going to open on this video. Um, now let's just take a look at the rewards that we're going to get. Um, first I want to go to the um, to the milestones. Nothing much has changed. Um, again, if you have 16,000 you get 20 gems in total with these combined. And of course this time we have the Spirit Fusion Boost armors that we are going to get once we get to 68,000. Now we're going to look at the medals right now. The medals right now it's pretty nice. We got the Wicked Wraith which is a pretty nice uh, 3 star. And we have the Torch Flame Mantle which is the 2 star which is also pretty good. And we have the Ages of the Fallen which I consider to be an okay legendary item which we can get. The Ages of the Fallen Plus is also way nicer. But we also get the Forge Stone Ages as the Legendary. I think that's an about an average Legendary. It's not all that awesome. But I, think, I don't think it's all that bad either. Personally, if you were a gem spender in this period of time, I would definitely wait for a better app to show up. Because this one is alright, but it's only really good if you get the first place. So that is the Arena update that we're going to have. And we already did this tournament. And the next one that we're having is actually the new boss, which is the Wave of the Dragon. Um, this boss is actually said to be incredibly be easy to beat because uh, people already have like a lot of equipment ready for this boss to defeat. So um, if you want to get a high up there to level 43, now right now is your chance to get there. I'm already at level 10 and didn't took me too much effort either and I'm only like level 35 so it's not going to be a problem for you anyway. I think this boss is pretty nice. I like the I like the armor from it. It's like a little bit funky in a way, but also very nice. I don't think it's a, a very boring one, but it might be nice for you to get as fusing material or to actually use as your regular item because the fir plus version isn't all that bad, but it still doesn't beat the Glacius armor. And that is going to bring me to the next point, which is another nice event. It's actually a paid event which is the Dark Prince chest. Now if we take a look at the Dark Prince chest we get a 4 times chance to get an ultra rare and legendary rewards and you get a guaranteed bonus if you open up 11 chests which cost 200 gems and you get 5 air fusion bonus armors and if you open up 50 chance chests at once you get a 20 uh, air fusion boost armors plus the armor of notice plus and that again is not a bad armor at all. I feel that Compared to the winter chest, the only downside is that you don't have a chance to get an epic equipment. But I, I actually do feel that the uh, air fusion boost armors and the armor of notice are definitely worth getting it. Because it's just a nice update. It's only lasting 3 days, so take your chance if you get it now. If you get it now, you also have a chance to get the nemesis, which also connects towards the epic boss, which you're going to be beating and that's pretty much a, a nice combo on itself so it's really nice of greed that they put this out at the beginning of the week rather than at the end of the week from which i know they actually did that a couple of times so i'm gonna quickly go to these chests and open these up I'm gonna skip it when you get basic armor 
I'm not going to use that at all. And um, I actually completed the quest and now the new section is out on so I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Um, oh, actually because I leveled up, fresh start, new, uh, new event, win 8 tournament battles in a single day. It's going to be easy for us because we're online quite a lot and um, yeah, we, we done pretty well so far. Actually for this, um, for this arena section I am going to try to actually aim for the... Uh, for the uh, e-ribbon because it was it is pretty nice um, I would like to get an epic so I'm gonna definitely try from now on to get to the e-ribbon um, what I want to tell you guys is if you want to get to the e-ribbon you need to get at least to the uh, tier of 65,000 or 55,000 that's gonna be about the line of if you want to get to top 1000 or not need to take into consideration is that it's it might gonna be a little bit harder you might get gonna have to get to 60,000 uh, in the end because these were the Christmas days so it can have two sides the one first side is that people are off a little bit more in, in time so they get to do more in the game but on the other side they could have been off from the game at the same time and do a little bit less so I'm not sure whether or not it's going to be 60,000 or 55,000 or even 50,000 so it's all for you guys to find out. And um, if we take a look here at my town, I already talked about how everything went for me. I got plenty of money uh, right now to form the Glacius Armor, but I'm not really going to start on that quite yet. Um, I feel that I should upgrade my armors a little bit first before I get actually get into doing something. And um, while we're on about it, I might... It really depends on um, if you guys like it or not. I might want to attempt a... Um, well, let me just check. But I'm not sure if I can. But I might attempt to um, to fuse my Flame Hunter's Garb along with the uh, Demon's Carapace. I'm not sure if that is a stupid idea or not. But I actually feel like trying to, uh, try to do so at least. Because I don't feel that I will actually lose too much from it. So if you guys are actually curious in how is how that's gonna be or not, just please leave me leave me a, a comment in the comments uh, section so that way you guys can tell me if you want to see me try fusing an epic or not. So that's pretty much bringing you all the news and updates from my little village over here. I'm on level 35 and I've unlocked Guardians Crossing. So far it's going pretty good. I've pretty much completed most of the quests that I needed to complete. Uh, I need to get some shiny shards right now and fresh start um, in Kriya's crafting. So right now I'm doing pretty well when it comes down to my quests. So this is going to be it for now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next news update.